Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Work at Mama Lifestyle Vlogs. I am so excited to bring this video to you today. Today is the day that I finally got to these three drawers and I decluttered KonMari style my clothes. It was quite a project, let me tell you. And I have been delaying doing this for the longest time, but boy, am I happy that it's done. So this video should give you some motivation to get your drawers organized, to go through all of those clothes and get yourself all set up, ready to go, make life easier, make life simpler, and just be more organized. So if you guys need some cleaning motivation, then keep watching. I'm going to take you through the entire process. You're going to see it from beginning to end. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. And guys, if you like cleaning organization videos like these, KonMari style, give me a like. Leave me a comment, let me know. It's great feedback from me, and I love hearing from you. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, dresser number one. I dumped everything out and put it on the floor. I'm sorting them out, putting into three piles. One is for toss, one is for donate, and one is for keep. So the ones that I toss are the ones that are just not good enough for donation. Maybe they're torn, stained, shrunken, all of that stuff. So I don't feel comfortable donating those. Now it takes a while to go through this. You do have to go through every single piece, make sure that you like it, make sure that you want it, make sure that you're okay with giving it away, and then you just keep going forward. Trust me, once you get into the vibe of it, it goes a lot faster. The hardest part is dumping everything out and looking at what you have, and then it just goes a lot easier. If you're new to my channel, I do want to mention that I do not usually have these three dressers in the hallway. They are usually in my bedroom, but we are undergoing a renovation due to some flooding, so everything that is in my master bedroom is out. But these are usually in a bedroom, not in a hallway.
All right guys, so it is the next day. I did work last night on my one dresser for about two hours. Then my battery died and my card, my SD card got full. So I decided to just finish the rest today. Um, and I had planned on starting earlier in the day, but it just didn't work out that way because of life. Um, after all the kids got to school and everything, it turns out that I needed a new tire and I had to go and get that ordered and just a whole bunch of stuff happened. So I am now um, going to finish that dresser and that dresser back there. Um, I will show you after I'm all done um, what this the first dresser looks like. It looks completely different and I know that it's going to be extremely satisfying for you to see what the insides of those drawers look. I'm excited to move on to the other two. Now, if you are doing KonMari method for the first time, um, I, you, first of all, you can go back and watch my um, closet KonMari, which was just massive and huge, and I will link it for you in the description box below, and I'll also pin it in a comment so that you can access it really easily. But you are essentially supposed to take everything out that you own and put it in one big pile and go through it and determine whether or not you really, that piece of clothing brings you joy. And that's kind of hard to define. I find it difficult to define. I feel like if something has been in my closet or my drawer for um, months and I haven't pulled it out or I've put it on and then taken it off and put it back in the drawer because it didn't, you know, I just didn't feel good wearing it, that that fits the definition. And I have a lot of clothing that way. You probably have a lot of clothing that you save or hold on to because maybe you feel guilty of getting rid of it since you did buy it or maybe there's sentimental reasons or maybe you think that you might fit into it later or it'll come back in fashion. I mean, there are a ton of reasons why we hold on to um, clothing, right? So I, um, I'm trying to be really hard lined when it comes to this because it just makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning and to get ready for your day or an event if you have the things that really you enjoy wearing. I mean, just cluttering up your space with things does not mean that you have more. It doesn't mean that you will look better. It doesn't mean that you will feel better. It just means that it will take you longer to get there because eventually you're going to sort through everything that you have and pick those items that make you feel good anyway, right? Because when I go through all the things, I end up going back to the clothing that are the same maybe 20, 30 pieces that I have. So when I did my closet KonMari, I now have just two racks of clothing. I don't have everything in my closet because my closet, um, it was ruined in the flood and so that hasn't been remodeled yet. So I actually have them just in on racks in my bedroom. I can show you that. Maybe I'll insert a clip of that um, and so that you can see how much clothing I have that I hang and it's really not that much. And those pieces are the pieces that I really like. And to think of it, I could probably go through it and take out the things I haven't worn since I've done that uh, declutter because that means I'm just not reaching for those pieces. Now, I don't agree with getting rid of everything that you, that you don't wear because sure, there may be special occasion events, there may be certain times when you would wear something and other times that wouldn't call for that outfit. So yeah, sure, you would hold on to the really nice dresses or maybe the, the things that you'd wear on a, on a specific night out. Those you want to keep that are really well, good quality, that make you feel good, that you can wear on various occasions, especially now with holidays coming up, like if it's the right black dress, if it's the right you know, holiday dress, if it's a gown that you keep, whatever those things are, yes, I would say that you would keep those so that you don't have to run out to the store and buy something new with every new occasion. You know, you want to be smart and not foolish about the things that you have and that you own. So I didn't get rid of certain gowns or dresses that I thought I could wear. You know, come a year from now, maybe we have a really nice event to go to, a black tie event, or maybe we have a, a Christmas is coming up. Maybe we have a work holiday um, event, and I would need a really nice cocktail dress for that. Those items I did keep that were good quality, that still fit me, and that I could see could easily be incorporated still into my wardrobe. But anyway... With all of that aside, um, go back and watch my old KonMari if you want a little bit more inspiration on what to do when it's an actual closet and you have a ton of stuff and you just feel overwhelmed. You'll see that process um, the entirety. I didn't cut much of it at all, so you'll see it all and um, kind of get yourself motivated for that. And um, so now I'm moving on to the drawers and um, there are just these two that are left and why don't we just go ahead and get started and I will be showing you the final product when I'm done. Okay, 
so the things that I have in those drawers that you just saw me take out were things like pajamas, um, random loungewear, I guess you could call it. A lot of stuff is really old in here. I have swimming suits and um, other random things that I didn't know where to put. So I'm gonna go through all of this stuff and like I was doing before, either set aside some for donation and the other side that is not good enough quality to donate and then um, stuff that I'm going to keep. dresser started out to be just for pants and as you can see it just got messed up there's a little bit of everything in here so my goal here is to separate everything again go through what I need and what I don't need and then make it again just for pants and then the top drawer I am going to include my hoodies and other thicker long sleeve tops I have this one junk drawer that I keep basically all the little things in that I don't know where to put. As you can see, there's a Christmas ornament in there and a few bags of teeth that the Tooth Fairy has collected and some cash, some CDs, a bunch of old stuff. So I'm gonna go through these and then after I toss out what I don't need, I am going to put in these drawer dividers, organizers that I got from Dollar Tree and just kind of 
pare down what is in this drawer and keep only what I actually need. So besides the teeth, I found this adorable ornament my son made me a long time ago, this airwick and three bags of random coins. I don't know where they come from or why they're there, but I have them, so that came out of that drawer. This top drawer is completely empty, and this is that junk drawer. Down here are my tops. How satisfying is this? Everything is folded neatly, everything is visible. I can see what I have. And then another drawer of more tops. These are mostly tank tops that I have in here. And then down here I have my shorts and um, that's it, just my shorts in there. Over here I have my black leggings and things I wear to yoga. And up here are my grays and my blues. And then on the top drawer are my printed leggings. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this KonMari declutter of my drawers and that I gave you some inspiration to get inside your drawers and your closet and get rid of all that old junk. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you subscribed and stuck around. Click the like button for me guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!